Uh, Article 34, shall the town of Hampton vote to change the percentage distribution of franchise fees received from the cable TV provider as voted under Article 16 of the 2013 annual town meeting so that 40% instead of 25% of the funds received from the franchise fees are placed in the Hampton Cable TV local revolving fund and are allowed to accumulate from year to year and shall not be considered to be part of the town's unassigned fund balance in accordance with the provisions of RSA 31 colon 95H as previously voted. The balance of the franchise fees received by the town under the cable TV franchise agreement are to be deposited as revenue in the general fund to reduce taxes. Majority vote required. Recommended by the Board of Selectmen 5-0. Recommended by the Budget Committee 12-1-1. Fiscal impact note. Finance Department no tax impact. Motion to open discussion on Article 34. Moved by Mr. Waddell. Is there a second? Seconded by Mr. Bridal. Mr. Woodell, would you like to speak to Article 34? Yes, Mr. Moderator. I'd like to make an amendment to the Article 34, please. All right. Uh, shall the Town of Hampton vote to change the percentage distribution of the franchise fees received from the cable TV provider as voted under Article 16 of the 2013 Annual Town Meeting so that 100 percent of the funds received from the franchise fees are placed in the Hampton Cable TV local revolving fund and are allowed to accumulate from year to year and shall not be considered to be part of the town's unassigned fund balance in accordance with the provisions of RSA 31 colon 95-H as previously voted and strike the last sentence there, the balance of the franchise fees received by the town under the cable TV franchise agreement are to be deposited as revenue in the general fund to reduce taxes. Majority vote required. Uh, and I'd like to speak to that. If I have a second, I'll let you speak to it, and I, I know the clerk would like to get it in writing, but do I have a second to Mr. Waddell's, second. Uh, second by Mr. Griffin? All right, Mr. Waddell, would you, uh, as I understand it, we're, we're moving from 40% to 100%, and since there won't be any excess, we're striking the last sentence. Yes, the two, two reasons that I bring this up. One reason is that the uh, Channel 22, the responsibilities are expanding tremendously. Last year, the school had Channel 13 come on board, and a lot of money from the Channel 22 fund goes to Channel 13 also. And the second reason, I think, and maybe one of the more important reasons are that when people pay this franchise fee, that franchise fee is to support local cable TV. It is not a sales tax to go into the general fund. And I think that's important, that, uh, that if people are paying a franchise fee for, to support local TV, that that's where it goes, to local TV. And then it does not go into the general fund. So those are my reasons, and uh, thank you, Ms. Waddell. Mr. Jones, would you like to be heard? And this is on the Waddell Amendment to move it from 40 to 100. Yes, uh, this competes with an amendment by Mary Louise Wolseley earlier today as one of the finest amendments I've ever heard. I want to thank Selectman Waddell for correcting what has been a wrong for, for a few years. It always was 100% going into this fund. It got changed a few years ago and got changed into what is in effect a sales tax. Suckman Waddell is actually correcting uh, that wrong and getting rid of this sales tax from the town of Hampton. I strongly urge everyone to support this amendment and when it passes, to support this Warren article. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Jones. Anyone else wishing to be heard on the Waddell amendment? Ms. Woolsey? Yes, I'm opposed to the article, uh, the amendment to the article in this context. We're just getting used to Channel 13 now. We have expanded the cable service. It's a wonderful service to the community, but I would like to see us take a few steps in the process in upgrading. Take two or three years to see what it is actually gonna to cost to run those channels, see what the equipment costs, kind of like the MIS fund that we dealt with a little earlier. I'd like a little better plan before we go ahead and jump from 25% to 100%. It's not going to hurt anybody. The money's going to go into the general fund, uh, what's left over, the, the remaining uh, 60%. So I'd like to do a little bit more gradually. All right. Uh, Mr. Pierce on the uh, Waddell Amendment, it's going from 40 to 100. Thank you. I agree with uh, Mr. Waddell on this particular issue. <clears throat> Because when you pay your Comcast bill, which I'm sure most of you, not all of you, but a lot of you realize that it's very expensive to start with. But putting that aside, the franchise fee is one of the little gotchas when you look towards the total of your bill. 
and do I like paying? Of course not. But it goes supposed to go to a good thing, which is Channel 22, 13 Education, Government, etc., TV for the people who live in this town. It should never have gone into the general fund period. So Mr. Waddell is correct. When I was a selectman, we uh, talked about that immensely, but I don't think we had the foresight or the gumption to don't go to 100%. So now is the time to do it. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Spears. Mr. Kravitz, would you like to be heard? If I'm not mistaken, the, the fund is about $82,000 a year that you get from... Can someone, Mr. Wells? Yeah. Could I mean, Channel 13 is not really community television, it's SAU 90. I mean, to, to put 100% of the revenue into, you know, I would like to see Channel 13 of community TV. And then I could understand spending the money. But I mean, this way, I don't. Uh, at this Manager point, I can't see changing it until okay. you know what's, yeah. what's going to get you money. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Mr. Kravitz. We have the amount here. Yes, Mr. Welch. Mr. Moderator, the amount of round figures is $328,000. Of franchi franchise fees? Of franchise fees. Okay. Yeah. So 100% of 328 is 328. Mr. Yeah. Woodell. Yes, I'd just like to uh, reiterate that. I don't think there needs to be a plan in effect to what to do with the money. The purpose is, if the money is there for a certain reason, then you use it for that reason. You don't divert it to something else. It becomes a tax when you divert it to something else. Uh, you know, that's, that's what people complained about with the gas tax, that it was not going to roads and, and uh, bridges, it was going to other methods. So it, it's a franchise fee to support local TV, it's to support local TV, not to reduce the tax rate. Thank you, Ms. Woodell. Anyone else wishing to be heard? Uh, we've got Ms. Woolsey. I'm going to do a very quick follow-up. We had cable TV starting in September 1996. Franchise fees have been collected then. Channel 13 just came on within the past year, roughly, the school channel. And I think it's uh, going overboard a little bit to take the whole $328,000 and have it sitting there in the kitty, where nobody knows what they're going to do with it yet. I would be really careful about escalating this. There are worse things that could happen than some of the money over and above go in to reduce your taxes. Okay. So um, I've got to go. Mr. Page, do you want to be heard? Or are you? Sure. All right. Mr. Page, then Mr. Jones, and then let's take a vote on the Waddell Amendment and see where we're at. Uh, Nathan Page, 200 Drakeside Road. Uh, Channel 13 is part of our community as well. And we just had an outage on Channel 22, and we didn't have any money to buy the new, just whatever the thing's called that sends out the signal. And, and now this is the way we can have money in reserve to take care of these repairs fairly immediately. And an audit, and I've, I've seen several selectmen's meeting when this cable committee comes in and says, we need to spend X to do Y. Can we have your permission? And the Board of Selectmen votes to do that. So there's controls on spending the money. It doesn't just, the cable committee isn't just going to go spend the money at will at anything they want. We, we need to have these things up and running. We're going to run it. We should run it well. Things need to be upgraded. Uh, some of our, uh, our sound and our other video quality has been improving over the years from when it first started. And we need to have the money sitting there so that we can do these things. I agree with uh, Selectman Wardell that let's stop the tax fund, let's stop the cable fund from subsidizing other things, let's use it just for the cable. And if we want to do something different in the future, we should have a warrant article to do that. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Page. Uh, Mr. Jones, and then we're going to take a vote on the Waddell Amendment. For me, it's really a, a simple principle. Selectman Waddell speaks to that principle. A sales tax is a tax on a retail purchase, and that revenue is put into a general fund. That's exactly what we have going on here today. This amendment is intended to correct that. You don't need a plan to get rid of the devil called the sales tax. Sales taxes do not belong in Hampton, New Hampshire, of any kind. If you object to how much money is there, lower the fee. 
don't turn it into a sales tax. I strongly urge you to support this amendment. Thank you. We're going to hold Mr. Kravitz. I'm going to take a vote and see where we are on the um, on the Waddell Amendment, and then we'll be back to the article, and you can speak to the article. But right now, we're going to have a vote on the Waddell Amendment, which is to move from 40 percent, as stated in the Warren article, to 100 percent. So if you are in favor of the Waddell Amendment, raise your voter card. Thank you. Down cards. All those opposed? Down cards. I declare that the Waddell Amendment has passed. Mr. Kravitz, if you'd like to speak to the article as it yeah. is amended. I was, I've was. i watched Channel 13 for a number of days, and you, you learn the lunch menu and you get pictures of the school committee. I asked the town manager at a meeting why it didn't go to the SAU 21, the high school, because it seems to me if the if you want community TV, you would get the older kids involved. You, they can do all sorts of programming. Right now, you're limited to SAU 90. That's my objection. So. Okay, fair enough. Uh, Ms. Latimer, do you wish to be heard on the article as amended? Speaking on this amendment, it's a good amendment to go to 100%. I want to point out that maybe you're aware or not aware of. We ran into equipment problems, but we had bigger problems than that. The video is becoming, of sorts, a town record because a lot of our committees and the Board of Selectmen have secretaries who are now remote, which means they're taking their minutes from that recorded meeting. When the cable went down, it created an enormous problem. And it appears that equipment's been needed through the years. I w I'm not going to stand here and say everything has been fine. There's been perpetual um, complaints about volume, about sound, about picture. And I think that this amendment will put a little bit more money into the hands of cable and perhaps um, increase the quality and certainly the people that are being paid right now for being on the job every night and recording this and not making very good sums um, and it may enhance things there and um, finally it with some backup equipment we may not run into what we just ran into which was almost tragic um, if we weren't able to reconstruct those minutes. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Latimer. Mr. Lassar. I just want the guys that work at Channel 22 and Channel 13 to know that we love your programming and you do a great job and this is no reflection one way or the other on you guys. I think it's great that um, my money is going to support the cable uh, television programs that we all enjoy um, and that the guys do a great job and whatever we can do to support you in Channel 22, let us know. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Lassard. Uh, Mr. Griffin. I would just like to say, <clears throat> as far as my knowledge is, that the uh, where we just didn't have service was not because there wasn't any money. Um, the guys that work with Channel 22 have gone out of their way to save money for the people uh, in the past. They don't like to waste money, but they've always been given and full support from the Board of Selectmen. I think a number of years ago when um, the Warren article was made to put the money somewhere else, that, you know, the, there might have been a lack of support at that point. but. The, um, Channel 22 has pretty much always gotten everything that they've asked for since I've been here uh, serving the town. I've not seen any cases where they didn't get what they asked for. Thank you. Mr. Bridal. Yes, thank you. Uh, and, and just to make it clear, I know uh, Channel 22 had some sound issues. Uh, as far as I know, at that, this point, they have, they have got the replacement piece. The re reason they didn't have that at the time is because when we ch made Channel 13, that took our spare. But they have since 
acquired the piece, and they're going to have that in supply, so they'll always have a backup for both Channel 22 and 13. And the fact that uh, you may have not seen the meetings live while they were uh, while they were going on, the meetings were being recorded, and the sound was working just fine on the recording. So uh, the only time that the only time that you wouldn't have some recordings from a, a meeting was after 11 o'clock when when the uh, cable committee shuts down, and that, that's their policy. Uh, so if, if there are committees out there that are going past 11 o'clock at night, then they need to realize that they need to make sure that they have their minutes. Thank you. Thank you. Ms. Wolsey, and then we're going to try to wrap this up. Yes, I don't want to beat a dead horse here. However, if it's going to cost us in the vicinity of $300,000 per year to run that cable system, we'd better get into a bigger market. Thank you, Ms. Wolsey. All right, I think we've, uh, we've addressed all sides of the issue, and the room, as I saw that vote, um, is of uh, almost a unanimous mind. So we're going to move on to uh, Article 35. Uh, Article 34 will appear on the, um, the warrant as uh, amended by the Waddell Amendment.